Carmel said, is it OK it's illegal to have sex with someone you don't live with from the 1st of June? Well, once again, let's listen to someone who knows what they're talking about. And when it comes to illegal sex, there's no better person to talk to than Lorraine Kelly. Yay! Hello. <laughs> Hello, Lorraine. Listen, the last time we saw you on our show, uh, it was our last show of last series in an empty studio. How are you doing? I'm doing OK, actually. I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm still going into work um, every weekday, so that's good, having a little bit of structure um, and going into work every weekday. So that's been, that's been good. So it's almost normal, except going into the studio is really weird because it's so quiet. There's hardly anyone there. It's just me and a producer and a few stalwart crew members. And, and that's about it, really. It's weird. And so, listen, it's now uh, illegal to have sex with someone you don't live with, which might just be a way of stopping Boris Johnson from having, having any more children. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about so. that law, though? It doesn't make any sense <laughs> at all. Who's going to police it anyway? The staff. And what is really worrying you think about But what's really silly is, I suppose what you could do is you could pretend that your boyfriend or your girlfriend, um, you could pretend that maybe they're your cleaner and you could have them round and then you could do whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, and then they could do a bit of ironing and that would be quite good and clean the loo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Josh and Alice, how do you guys feel about that? What about that? That doesn't matter, Lorraine. I'm just in my own head there. The, the thing Josh thought, and Alex, how do you guys feel about it? I know your head is very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, um, I think the thing is, it's, it's going to affect the base system, because now third base is going to be moving in with someone and fourth base is going to be having sex. And that is hell of a first date to go through. <laughs> I think it I is. think it's going to be quite weird if if you get arrested and put in prison for it because they'll just like the person next will be like, "What are you in for?" And you'll be going like two minutes, and then the police turned up. Also, <laughs> the, other, <laughs> the other thing that I <laughs> found weird they basically they said that um, you know sex with someone outside your household is, is is illegal, but like masturbation is low risk. Not when your wife and kids are in the next room, it ain't. <laughs> that's very true. That's very true. You have to be careful. There's a whole new, a whole new set of rules out there. There really is. Do you know what's really weird as well? When I go into work, what they have to do is because um, we, I'm sharing the studio with Piers Morgan, so he sits down in the same seat as me. So he's been sitting on the seat. His boss has been on it for like three hours. So when he gets away and during the break, they have to come and give it a clean. They have to, you know, obviously to you know to comply with all the rules and everything. We have to kind of sterilise the yeah. seat and make it all. Yeah. Make it all proper again for everyone, for me, really. <laughs> is, it, is that just because it's Piers Morgan, or is that would that be anyone? <laughs> I think it's probably a little bit of both. But yeah, we're, we're, we have to sort of we have to kind of tidy up and make sure everything is everything is sterilised. We don't want anything anything nasty to happen. As somebody said to me, we don't want you to get pregnant. There was one study this week that suggested that couples should wear masks while having sex, which makes me feel for the no, couples that already true. wear masks during sex, because now that's not that's even true. naughty. <laughs> no, that's true. Exactly. They're, that, but they're just be, they'll just be toeing the leg. If you're... I mean, how to do that? I don't think you're doing it right, are you? But you know what's going to happen with all these rules about <laughs> sex? Them that make the rules will still be at it like knives. They'll be absolutely bunny rabbits. It's just that the, the rest of us <laughs> that have to follow the rules. They'll just always, like they always do, they'll always do their own thing. Yeah. And there's some, we are going to find out which one of us is the ultimate home-tasking champion in a minute. But, Lorraine, before we say goodbye, we need to thank you. Because a few weeks ago, as some of you may know, I had a bit of a cough. So I went off and got a COVID test just to be yes. safe. But we realised that if the test came back positive, I couldn't host the show. So we actually asked Lorraine to be my backup. Now, the test thankfully came back negative. Lorraine, tell the truth, though. Were you hoping you were going to get the call? No, I've never been so glad to not get a call because if I had, it would have meant that you were sick. It would have meant that you were really ill. And actually, I don't think you yeah. realise that everybody was really, really worried about you because you're very precious. And um, So we were just absolutely delighted that you were all right. You I also didn't fancy right. losing a foot to be the host of the show, did you? <laughs> no, that's true. There was that. I have to say, that was the main consideration. Well, look, let's give the viewers a taste of what they could have had. Uh, I'm going to leave the screens okay. for a moment. Take it away, Lorraine.
OK, well, the last leg, lockdown under, it's going to return very, very soon. Uh, Dr Hillary is going to give Alex a thorough going over. That could take some time. <laughs> Esther McVeigh is going in a gunge tank. And there's going to be lockdown fashion for all the family. See you after this. She was lovely. She's lovely. She's she great. said, here's my card if you ever need a one-legged stripper. <laughs> <laughs> have, you got, have you got that card? <laughs> <laughs> what was great was watching Alex on the red carpet. This oh. girl went to me, um, oh, Alex, can you sign this for me? And then she went, actually, can you sign this? <laughs>